Hey, No Code Ops, uh, Phil here. And for today's AHA Moment demo, I'm joined by the two co-founders of Quably, David and Jamu. David and Jamu, welcome to the show. Hi, everyone. Yeah, thanks for having us. Great to have yeah, you here. Yeah. Great to have nice you here. You. Um, and where are you guys calling in from today? Yeah, we're calling from Lagos, Nigeria. Awesome, awesome. I think this is the first, uh, yeah, first Nigerian startup I've talked to in, uh, in the No Code space. So first on the board, representing. Yeah, awesome. Yes, so, so sure we're we're pretty much the first African startup. Yeah, so cool. Um, so yeah, um, uh, Jamie, would you like to tell us a bit more about Quably and where the inspiration for it came from, briefly? Okay. Yeah. So Quably is a no code tool that um, all non-technical um, personnel, be it in business operations, um, sales operations, people operations, can come on board and you know build custom solutions for themselves to automate their manually repetitive processes. Processes um, are causing across various industries, right? And the inspiration came from when um, we, we discovered that um, a lot of businesses actually require some custom solutions for themselves. But is it that too expensive for developers to be hired? And it actually takes a long development time. And we come up with a, a very simple and intuitive solution where anyone, anywhere, with um, any uh, level of uh, technical expertise can come and you know get something for themselves and you know eliminate those repetitive uh, maintenance tasks like and send constantly sending an email receiving data and a whole lot of a bunch of tasks yeah incredible yeah i love the future of um of instead of just using off the shelf software for internal needs of companies giving non technical folks the ability to actually build their own workflows and applications, I definitely think is the future for internal workflows. So this is really exciting to learn more about. Um, Jamie, if you wanna take over screen share um, and show us uh, what an aha moment for a user using Quably would look like, I'd love to see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, and not to mention, Quably is like, um, typically to some people, Quably is like um, a fusion of um, Airtable and Zapier. So the database automation aspect of Airtable and the automation across apps which Zapier gives, and as well as the document generation features like um, DocuPilot. So we are infusing these three components into one, probably. So I will um, share my screen right now to right. get into it. So yeah, welcome to Quably. Um, this is the home page. And um, in Quably, we have boards. So boards are the fundamentals of where we hold our data. And um, so we have board groups that collect um, related data. Like um, here we have for people ops, I uh, have something for CRM and projects here. So when I open CRM and projects here, we have um, four boards here, leads, clients, projects, and interactions. So I can also add a board here, right? By clicking create board, name my board, I can call these tasks. And um, you know, that way I have a board created. Um, so jumping into it, we have on um, the leads board. Um, and in Quably, in the boards, we have fields. So this is like a table view, and then we have fields that hold all kinds of data and um, fields holding we're using different field types. So clicking on the plus icon here, you see we have um, various fields and um, field types that um, determine the, the, the properties of data we're holding, like a date sheet for date, email for email, file for attachments, link for URLs, and um, a whole lot of um, fields, as well as complex um, field types like formula. Uh, payments and um, a lot of others, right? So looking at this um, example for lead generation, so here users are able to set up fields. So we have um, fields like company, which is a short text field, old field, and drop down options, right? So from Quably here, uh, the right hand side, we can generate forms. So forms bring in data from external sources. So I can click on generate form, to the form, classic form, uh, give my phone a name, let's say, um, Contact us from I call it contact us a description. Um, and then I'm assuming when you generate this form, it will be with the fields uh, that are already in the sheet as question. Yes, yep. so I can so I can enable some fields I want. So company make visible, phone make visible, and um, status uh, new lead. So I can give you a new lead. Um, oh, great. So, the automation right there. Cool. Yeah. So from this source, I can give it um, contact us form. So next, and um, a form message. So you can set up um, 
custom message after the form has been submitted, set an expiry date for your form. Um, and next, and um, voila, we have the form link, which you can be copied. And um, you can also view the form here. So this is the form loading on that tab. And this is the form. Oh, great. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So um, the forms can also either be a, also be embedded in the website. So if you want to embed in a website, you can click on embed form and you can generate the code to embed in the website. Right. Got it. So from what I'm seeing so far, right, just like thinking through what our users uh, and our community members will be thinking when watching this, so far seems super similar to Airtable, right? You have like your data, you have like your spreadsheet slash database, you have your different views that can include forms. Um, there's some automations, which Airtable has like it's now its own automation platform as well, which is, uh, you know, integrated. Um, one thing that you showed me initially that I was really impressed with was the document automation piece here. Um, can you show us a bit more about that? Okay, yeah. So let's assume in, um, from our leads, we have we have clients, and um, all of us. Um, so when leads get converted, they move to the client board. So there's an information that brings them here when they are converted. And um, we have projects, but we have a managed projects, right? So and then for typical um, professional services business, they need to generate. So uh, it's probably we have a document generation feature that allows you to upload your own Microsoft um, Word template, your own Word template, and then map to fields in public to generate. Um, documents for every record. I will show you right there. So let's say we need to generate a statement of work yep. for every of our projects. Um, here we have um, a, a template for statement of work here. I see. So I will basically put um, curly brackets around the dynamic, dynamic fields you want to match from your table, right? Yep. So like project types. Those are like your clients. variable tokens. Your yeah. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So client, email, and put your title, etc. Right. So yep. um, uh, coming back to the board. Yeah. So you see the last field here we have um, which is a document field type. Like I said, we have various fields that in probably. So this is a document field type. So here you basically upload um the existing templates you have your temp your own templates. So you're not constrained to any kind of template. So you basically bring out any kind of template, and it could be agreements, uh, contracts, invoices, uh, and so on. Right. And then basically, so these are all the, all the fields from the documents here. As you can see, project type to client and so on. Yeah, then basically mapping them to fields and the board and then choosing what format you want, uh, whether docx or PDF, right? So and that's and then, like the final format that it spits out. Yeah, exactly. So when I open any record here, let's say this, um, put your title website development for clients, NETA, contact person, and so on. So here we automatically generate a document for this record here, which should open up right about now. And here you see it's website development for NETA. So no. clients. Yeah. And you can so, so, that so, all without leaving the platform. That is awesome. It, Exactly. So you don't, you don't have to connect to another, another tool to connect to another platform that is going. So you are doing everything here. So you, yeah, it allows you to like and bring in data from previous sources. So imagine data moving from your form to your table and to your document immediately. I'm, I'm not interested in like you, know, you can even perform more actions on this data. Like let's say I want to immediately email a client uh, a copy of uh, the statement of work. You can set up workflows. So this is the interesting part in probably the workflows. So workflows are the automation in probably. So we, we can create a workflow. Um, when project, for example, this is another, uh, there's a workflow here, project completed, and then edit that. So basically see when status match is done. So setting up conditions for the trigger. So my trigger is when the status match is done, I want you to send a message to a Slack channel, right? So once the project is done, notify a Slack channel. And these are the variables here. Project is now completed. Wow, once again, this. without leaving the platform, that's really- platform. Yeah, so, so we, we, we have um, various um, actions. We, uh, look, looking at it here, we have we integrated with MailChimp, SendBill, Dropbox, Slack, Google, and the rest of others. And for both here, these are the internal um, workflows we do. So I would, I would try this out so you see when this particular um, is changed to done, right? Should you notify a Slack channel. And here we have its. Um, and it's like channel. Very website good. development. And this is a document that you can see which was generated. Very right. cool. Do you guys have your own e-signature solution baked in, or would that have to be done through a separate platform like DocuSign? 
Okay, today that would have to be done through a separate platform, but it's, it's in our roadmap as well to make everything sit in the same platform. But Great. today, users would have to like integrate to DocuSign, Elusign, and so on. Great. So let me ask you this as like a final question here. If someone's debating, uh, if they're looking at something like Airtable um, and say like an Airtable Zapier combo, and they're looking at Quabbly, uh, what would what uh, in their use case would make them want to choose Quabbly over Airtable and Zapier? Okay, um, you know, uh, for, for Zapier, right, um, as your runs keep um, scaling, so when you keep having more process, you start running out of your um, your Zap runs and it becomes more expensive at scale, and they're having to pay for two various platforms. And, um, you know, uh, many times you have to move in from Zapier. If something is broken in Zapier and you're in Airtable, then you have to keep going. So there, there's no one single overview over all your processes, like, which is the reason why we're doing this so that we have you have a database and you have your automations and you can easily see what's happening um so if you bought just something um in quality you can see through your um audit trails like oh so debugging um, comes a bit easier yes exactly and you can easily see all the activities all you've done all your bots have done everything okay. in one place so um yeah for your type two and so on very cool. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 and, and, and automation, automations are actually instant as well, probably. So it's, it, I, th I think in Zapier, I'm not so sure, but I think it takes um, some minutes later for another Zap to run and stuff. But probably it's instant. So all the automation runs are instant. So you don't have to wait. So on. Cool. And then, another, if, oh, go ahead. So, yeah. So another example of um, a good example is maybe if you're if you're running Facebook um, lead ads, right? I need to import um, your leads from Facebook. So we are also like directly connected to Facebook. So here with your workflow, you can see like um, Facebook. So you can pull data from your Facebook. When there's a new lead on Facebook lead ads, you can bring in your data to your team as a CRM here in public, and your team can actually interact with it in a collaborative manner and you know keep closing deals. Oh, wow. Speaking of which, uh, do you all have like for different users, different sets of permissions yet? Um, so not any user can just add or delete anything? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a robust um, role settings here that right. allows for that. So when you create a new role, when you create a role, you can then assign privileges to role, disable create Very record, disable cool. record, and so on. Amazing. So uh, very last uh, question then is, if people want to learn more about Quabbly, what's the best way for them to learn more about it? Okay, yeah, um, so going to our website, www.quabby.com, uh, and checking some of our vid YouTube videos. And so we are also working on them, also adding more resources. So, but um, right in the platform here, users can actually book a demo, right? And also check our help, um, help sections here in the platform, right? So if, you, if users are guest up with something, you can always book a demo with our support instantly and, you know, always get help. And um, also access our... Uh, um, Herb docs and um, you know uh, all our uh, herb documentation yeah as well from the platform that live in there. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, uh, Jamie and David, for making time. This was incredible. Uh, super exciting uh, to see all the innovation in the space and um, you know beautiful UI, really awesome feature set so far. And yeah, wishing you all this you know all the success on this front. So yeah, if you want to learn more, go to quably.com. And thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. Great seeing yeah, you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.